Wachusett Reservoir, along with the Quabbin Reservoir, provide an unfiltered source of high-quality water for the Massachusetts Water Resources Authority water supply system. Managed by the Department of Conservation and Recreation, the Wachusett Reservoir covers 108 square miles with 37 miles of shoreline and holds 65 billion gallons of water to provide drinking water to 3 million people. That's about 40% of people living in Massachusetts. Consider while nearly 70% of the world is covered by water, only 3% of it is fresh. The rest is salt water and ocean based. Just 1% of our fresh water is easily accessible, with much of it trapped in ice, glaciers, and snowfields. Have you ever needed to wonder where your next drink of clean water would come from? Or if you have enough clean water to wash your hands or put out fires? Well, about 125 years ago, people here in Massachusetts metropolitan Boston area worried about all of that. There wasn't enough fresh water for the population. The first public water supply was a cause for celebration. When the water turned on, it fountained 80 feet in the air, followed by a parade that took two and a half hours to pass a given point. By 1892, the increased population had again outgrown the supply of water. The Wachusett Reservoir was constructed during the early 1900s by damming the south branch of the Nashua River. This photo, taken in 1896, shows the rocky hilltop looking down on the Nashua River winding its way through the valley. The same view in 1916. The valley is flooded with the waters that filled up Wachusett Reservoir. At the time of construction, Wachusett Reservoir was the largest construction project in the world. It remains a great engineering feat and is one of the few unfiltered water supplies in the country. Parts of the towns of Clinton, West Boylston, Boylston, and Sterling were flooded. Hundreds of homes, six mills, eight schoolhouses, four churches, two cemeteries, and nearly 30 miles of roads and rail lines were removed or relocated. Wachusett Dam was constructed to hold back the water of the south branch of the Nashua River. It maintains the honor of being the largest hand-built gravity dam in the world. Constructed of granite masonry, the dam stretches 944 feet across. The height of the dam is 115 feet above the ground, with also 112 feet below the ground that we can't see. Excavation for the dam began in October of 1900 and construction continued for five years. Material was brought in by a cable system suspended across the valley from towers that moved along tracks. Laborers worked primarily with hand tools. Earthwork preparing the upper edges of the reservoir floor continued for another two years after completion of the dam. Here you see the construction of the dam in 1904. Behind the dam, the reservoir is starting to flood in the background and the construction of the fountain that discharges water into the Nashua River in the front. This is what the fountain looks like today. At full capacity, the water spills over or sheds down the spillway and enters the Nashua River below. Depending on the amount of rainfall, season and weather, the amount of water coming over the spillway can change. This was taken in December, and here is the same spillway in June. With the low water, you can see how the rocks were cut to mimic a natural river landscape. Today, the reservoir is filled by rainfall, snow melt, the Quinnipoxit River, the Stillwater River, and periodically by aqueduct from the larger Quabbin Reservoir which was built 20 miles away in the 1930s when demand for supply of drinking water outgrew Wachusett Reservoir. 
The north and south dikes are dams made up of earth and stone to fortify the shoreline. These areas are suitable for grassland habitat and are critical for a variety of wildlife species that depends on open land. Bobolinks nest in the tall grasses of the north dike. They're known for their unique flight and hovering up above the grass. Eastern meadowlarks show off their black v-necks from posts or taller plants. The American kestrel is a small falcon, also known as a sparrowhawk. It hunts for prey over grassy areas. An actively growing, diverse, multi-age forest surrounds the reservoir. This regulates stream flow, maintains water quality, and prevents erosion. This pristine, protected environment has provided a great habitat for the bald eagles to return. Sometimes a moose will make an appearance. Moose have also returned to this diverse forest. Common loons choose the reservoir as their breeding and nesting ground. Not only does Wachusett Reservoir provide clean drinking water, but the watershed also provides habitat for a diverse amount of wildlife species. Thank you for joining this virtual tour of Wachusett Reservoir. I hope it's made you curious of where your water comes from and what you can do to conserve water for the future.